Hey guys, Jira Coins here, back with another YouTube video of coin roll hunting. And today, and 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 in today's YouTube video, I'm gonna be showing you guys another box that I hunted through. Um, it's pretty cool. It's awesome. So definitely uh, stay tuned to see what I find. Uh, I haven't found any wheat pennies so far. I do have this uh, this much only searched, and right here, I n I didn't take end up taking it out yet. But yeah. We do have another wheat ender right there. So that's definitely one we're going to be saving for later. That's the only one that I could see right off at the top. But I just rolled out this roll. And there's a wheat penny right there. And then there's one right there. I don't know if there's another one. That's not one. That's not one. So yeah. Um, I rolled it out and I looked over here on this little roll right here. I'm like, sweet, I got a wheat penny. And then I looked up, and then there's another one sitting right there. So I got both of these in one roll. So starting off with the first two wheat pennies of the roll in one roll. Or two wheat pennies of the box in one roll. So let's flip them and see what we got. 1952D. And in 1945D. That's pretty cool, so let's keep searching. Alrighty guys, I found another wheat penny. So we're gonna pull it out. And just like this. Looks pretty old, so I'm guessing maybe 20s or 30s. And it is a 44 plane date. Alright, let's keep searching. Alrighty guys, very next roll. We got a 1950D. It's pretty cool. Not just like that. Let's keep searching. Alrighty guys. I got another wheat penny. I don't know what it is. So let's take it over here. Let's take a look at it. And flip it. And it is a 48D. That would be the sixth wheat penny of the box. It's pretty cool. So let's keep searching. Alrighty guys, very next roll. Just rolled it out and look right there. We literally have another wee penny. Wow. That's pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and flip it and see what we have. It's like a 1944 plain day. That's pretty cool. Um not seeing anything else that's going to be the seventh wheat penny of the box so let's keep searching all righty guys we got another wheat penny um we're just a little halfway through the box about uh two rolls approximately so yeah let's get this wheat penny out let's take a look at it it's pretty cool what date is it going to be 1946 plain day. That would be the eighth wheat penny of our box. Let's shoot for ten. See you guys when I find something pretty cool. Alrighty guys, I got another wheat penny. I already know what date it is. Did not come out like this, you know, face back. Because we got a 60. Let's put that in the pile. So yeah, let's have get the camera to focus. Flip it and see what it is. I already know what date it is. It's a 1946D. We just got a 46 and now we've got a D. And we penny of the box. Very next roll. Um, and we also do have a uh, a Canadian in 2006. Very nice. So let's keep searching. Alrighty guys, again, very next roll. We are on a roll here. I got another Canadian. As you can see right there, 1985. Pretty cool, nothing special. Go through it. What do I see? I see a wheat penny sticking out right there. I have not looked at the date yet. I bet you it's going to be super awesome. So let's flip it. No, not really. Just a 1942D. Doesn't matter. We hit 10 wheat pennies. 
knowing something. I guess we're gonna find the next another one in the next roll. So let's keep searching. Alrighty guys, not next roll. Uh it's a couple rolls later. Um picking up some sixties right now. But yeah, um I think this might be a wheat penny. Might just be a really uh um, worn penny but we're gonna flip it and look at that it is indeed a worn wheat penny so let's uh, flip it and see what it is let's hope it's old no just a 53 playing date still pretty cool that would be the 11th wheat penny of the box uh, a little over halfway still so let's keep searching, try to find some more cool stuff. Alrighty guys, we got another wheat penny. You can see it right there. Let's pull her out. Let's look around it. There's a 69D. Um, yeah, so this will be the only one in this roll. So let's flip it and see what date it is. Nice, 1937 plain day. Nice, oldest wheat penny that we've gotten so far. That is pretty cool. We still got 10 rolls to go. Let's see what we can find. If we don't find anything, I will meet you guys back up with the last 11th roll that has that wheat penny ender. So see you guys then. Alrighty guys, we got another Wheat Penny in the very next roll. That's pretty cool. Um, this came as a total shock to me of how in good condition uh, this is in. Um, it's still brown. It's not like it's... Um, it's a uh, BU, um, you know, red or, you know, anything like that. But... It's definitely in great condition for the age that it's in. I already saw its, it's age. Um, but yeah, would you look at that? A 1936 plain date. The last one, the uh, last roll that we pulled out was a 1937 Philadelphia, uh, which was a plain date, just like this. And this is a 36 plain date. Let's try to five a 35 and the very next roll. See you guys when we do. I thought I saw one peeking out from right there. <clears throat> well, you see it. It's a 1951D. See you guys when I find another one. I'm just kidding. I'll, of course, take it out to show the condition. Look at that. It's pretty nice. That would be the 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. This will be number 14 of the box. We're down to three rolls plus the one with the wheat ender. So if not, we'll get 15 if we don't find one in the next three. See you guys when I do. Alrighty, guys. We hit little patches. Very next roll. It's pretty cool. Got a wheat penny plus a 59D. Let's look at the 59D first. This one I see. This one I'm going to pick out. So the one I'm going to put in my collection. Next, we got the Wheat Penny. This will be number 15, I do believe so myself. Let's flip it. It'll be a 51D. It's pretty cool. Let's keep searching. Alrighty, guys. This is the roll with the Wheat Penny Ender right there. Already started opening it a little, little bit. So that we can get a good look of a live opening for the wheat penny. It's right. Oh, we don't want to see the date. No, no, no. We want to see the back of it first. Look at that. There she is in all her glory. It's a 45D. So uh, look through, let's put that one off, let's quickly look through the rest, see if there's another 
Nope, doesn't look like it. See you guys in the wrap up when I have everything done, good to go. See you guys then. Alrighty guys, here we are for the wrap up of the video. And in the wrap up, we are gonna start always with the traditional 2009s. We only got three of the four 2009s. We got three uh, early birth and childhoods, one uh, formative years, and one professional life. We only got three S's and count up a really good one and one 2017P. For the 59s, we got one very nice looking 59D and then we got the rest right here. Seven 59s in total. We got the uncirculated, the gym in the haystack, uh, the needle in the haystack, sorry, <laughs> The 1968 plain date and uncirculated condition, which will be certainly going to my book because I do not have that one yet. We got a 1974D in insanely good condition, 1975D, and a 19, another 1975D. Uh, for the Canadians, we got the first one, which is a 2006. The next one, which is a 1995. Third one, which is a 1994. Fourth one, 1985. And the fifth one, which is a 1978. That's pretty cool. But in the Wheat Pennies, we found a total of 18 or 17, somewhere around there. Uh, we'll count them out, though. Uh, so for the first one, we got a 1952. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. 1952D, second one, is a 1944 plain date, third one, 1956D, fourth one, 1945D, fifth one, 1950D, sixth one, 1948D, seventh one, 1944 plain date, and eighth one, 1945D. Move on to the next row. The ninth one is 1946 plain date. Tenth one is 1946D. Eleventh one is a 1952D. Thirteenth one is a 1953 plain date. Fourteenth is a 1937 plain date. Fifteenth is a 1936 plain date. 17th is a 1951D, and the very last one that we found is a 1951D. So that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't already, please go down, comment, like, and feel free to subscribe, and also share this video on any social media, via your Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys find tons of 1968s that are in perfect condition and uncirculated and have no mint mark. And I really hope that you guys do go check out my new YouTube channel. The link will be in the description called GR Collects. It will be about me collecting um, uh, anything, really, from uh, old military uh, memorabilia to, to coins, obviously, to typewriters, and so on and so forth. Anyways, it's going to be super cool. It's going to be super fun. Hope you guys enjoy. This is GR Coins. Bye-bye.